morning everyone. Uh, we wanted to spend a bit of time this week talking about speech clarity. I was at a presentation last night at a kindy and I think we spent about an hour to an hour and a half talking about questions that parents had about speech clarity. So we thought it'd be a great topic for our videos this week. And what I wanted to do was start off with a really little, uh, our young toddlers, and talk about what's normal. Um, a lot of the questions that parents had were about words that their children were pronouncing and whether or not it was okay for their age. So I thought today we would use Tweety Bird to talk about how we analyze and what we do as speech pathologists when we're looking at a child's pronunciation. And this Tweety Bird's a pretty beautiful, spot on example of what a child's speech might look like at about two to three years of age. And I'm gonna show you why some of these errors are happening and when you could expect them to resolve. So what we know is that children use rules uh, to simplify the speech production for their sounds. So some sounds are more difficult to say, so they develop later on for children. And we know that there's predictable ages uh, where we can expect children to be pronouncing certain sounds correctly. So what we do is we might listen to a child's speech, we'll do an assessment, and what we do is we have a look at, well, what rules are the, ch the children using to make their sounds easier to say. Are those rules on track, normal, predictable, what we're expecting? Are they behind their peers so they're not resolving fast enough? Or are they doing something that's a little bit different? <laughs> so for Tweety Bird today, you can see there's a couple of errors in the way that Tweety Bird pronounces her sounds. I taught, I tore, putty tap. So what we've got here, this one is our TH sound. We know that that one's actually really difficult to say. It's one of the last sounds to develop. It's pretty normal for children to turn that into an F sound up until the age of about three, three years, three months. Um, but because Tweety Bird's still only two, she still can't make her F sound. So she's turning that into a T. And that's really normal at this age. If we have a look at this one here, I saw that S sound turning into a T. Again, that's a normal rule that children use to make their words easier to pronounce. And much like the F, these ones develop at about the same time, usually around the age of three to three years, three months. Some children have more difficulties with S that we'll talk about in other videos, but you can some expect to see it hoping to start to emerge around that time. You can see our S's in Pussycat are turning to D's there. Um, and we'll talk in another video about why T's and D's might get confused. Um, and what we've got here is our C turning into a T. And that's a normal rule for kids to bring their back sounds, K and G, to the front of their mouth to make them easier to say. And that sound there, the K or the K sound, normally emerges in a child's speech at about three and a half years of age. So what you can see is little Tweety Bird at two years, two and a half, is right on track in her speech production. And by the time she's three, we should see these sounds coming through. Three and a half, we should see these ones. And that sentence is gonna clean up really nicely. And what it's gonna sound like by the time she's about three and a half is, I thought I saw a pussy cat. And that's cleaning it up quite a bit. That TH sound is gonna be the last one to come. Um, we're going to do a few videos this week all about what you can expect from speech production at different ages. Lots of the parents last night had questions about specific words and how their children were pronouncing them. So if you've got a question for us, let us know. Give us a call, send us a message, and we're happy to pull it apart and tell you what's going on.